Thank you, Mr. President. Welcome. Have you ever owned a gun? I have never owned a gun. Uh, now, up at Camp David, we've got uh, some skeet shooting. Before you were president, did you ever feel a desire to get a gun, feel the need to get a gun? You know, I grew up mostly in Hawaii, and uh, other than hunting for wild pig, uh, which they do once in a while, um, you know, there's not uh, the popularity of uh, hunting and sportsmanship with guns uh, as much as there are in other parts of the country. Right. People occupy different realities. There are a whole bunch of law-abiding citizens who have grown up hunting with their dad or going to the shooting range and uh, are responsible gun owners. And then there's the reality that there are neighborhoods around the country where it is easier for a 12 or 13-year-old to purchase a gun and cheaper than it is for them to get a book. For the gun owners who are in attendance here, my suspicion is, is that you all had to go through a background check. And it didn't prevent you from getting a weapon. And the notion that you should have to do that, but there are a whole bunch of folks who are less responsible than you who don't have to do it, doesn't make much sense. The gun debate gets wrapped up in broader debates about whether the federal government is oppressive and uh, you know, there are conspiracy theories floating around the internet these days all the time. We want to think that we can make a law and people will follow it. But by the very nature of their crime, they're not following it. Some criminals will get their hands on firearms even if there's a background check. What we do have to make sure of is that we don't make it so easy for them to have access to deadly weapons.